how to get things done with no patience. All of us are impatient. All of us have a certain threshold for getting things done. If we don't see the light at the end of the tunnel, we're not going to do it. That's just human. That's human nature. So don't beat yourself over the head if that's you. But what I wanted to tell you today is that we can all get things done. We can all accomplish things. Even if you don't have patience, this is the way to do it. Number one, what's the golden rule? You can't eat an elephant in one bite. Well, that's the golden rule for this romance seminar. What do you have to do? Chop it up into sections. Well, for example, if your patience runs out after one day of not seeing the light at the end of the tunnel, that is, you don't see any feedback from what you're, whatever you're working on. Well, let's go ahead and get to the point. If you want to eat an ele elephant, you have to cut it up into sections. You have to eat the trunk, you have to eat the tusks, you have to eat the nose, you have to eat the head, the legs, the body, the tail. You can all do it over a period of days, months, or years. But you have to figure out what your patience threshold. Now, looking at it, what do, how do we go about doing this? How do you figure all this out? Well, you might be thinking to yourself, well, the first thing you need to do is, when's the last time you got something done in your life? When, what's the last thing you accomplished? How long did it take you to accomplish it? What was the light at the end of the tunnel? What was the big payoff? For example, if your goal was to start a business and you've been putting it off, putting it off because you don't have the patience to get it done, all you have to do is think of first, what is the big picture? Imagine in your mind hmm, what it is you're trying to do. If you're trying to open a laundromat, for instance, the first thing you need to do is figure, go to a laundromat and see what the finished product looks like. You, you're going to find that you're going to need washers, you're going to need a television, a bathroom, somewhere to fold clothes at, dryers, XYZ, a building, things of that nature. Well, once you get that done, you got to work backwards. What's the first thing you need? Well, it only took you, what, 15, 20 minutes to find the closest laundromat. Then you work backwards from there. You say, okay, now that I've found the laundromat, now I need to find a place for my laundromat. You work backwards from there. Now that I've found there, of course, I can't open the laundromat next door to that. What's a place in the city that needs a laundromat? You might already have that in mind. So now you write that down. I need a laundromat. And it needs one here on the main street of the city. Then uh, you got to find an empty building. If there are no buildings empty on that main street, then you go for the next one. Fast forward, you got to buy, uh, go to Speed Queen and get commercial washers and dryers. You have to get the money for that. Then you work backwards from there. The process is chopping it up into manageable pieces that you can work on towards your patience threshold. So if, if you only have patience to work on something for a week before you can see any rewards, you'll get discouraged after that pa patience threshold, then you need to work under those conditions. You need to chop up whatever you're trying to work on, whatever project you're trying to complete into those sections so that you can get everything done. The next thing is, um, if it takes you a year or three months, if you only have 12 hours before, if you don't see a payoff, you're going to get discouraged. Figure out when when do you get discouraged. Work underneath that limit. Chop up whatever project you're trying to work on inside of that patience threshold. And that's all you have to do. And you can get things done even if you don't have any patience.